I'm really trying not to be the black sheep here. Isn't that so? Well, let me address the elephant. The horse in the room. 24p. It's not that simple. Cinematic footage is a little bumpier than just putting your footage in 24p. It is pretty thin air in which I'm manifest. No, I'm not, I'm not going back to have this intro again, but it's pretty thin air, and I don't think I, whew, I'm able to explain this. I think in explaining frame rates, I'm as much in the dark as most of you guys. Hi. Oh, look at these lamps. They are flickering at 50 Hz. I am filming this in 30p, which means we are already filming at a rate that doesn't conform with the flickering of electricity in Europe, which is 50 Hz. I should have filmed this in 25p, but I'm trying to make a point here. But it's not about the flickering of electric lamps. This vlog is about how important it is to film in a rate that conforms with the rate you're editing in. And then, the second aspect that concerns me a lot more is the display frame rate. The refresh rate of your display, in my case, it's mostly projectors. And most of the projectors work at 120 frames. Well, 120 hertz, to be exact. 120 times per second. Those projectors refresh the image I'm sending to the chip. The problem here is, if the frame rate I'm sending my images in doesn't conform with those 120 frames, the projector will do the conforming on its own. And this can end up horrible. <laughs> All the way up here on the bike, just to make a point. But I thought the more effort I take, the more of a point I make. Um, yeah. Did I really come up here in a pouring frozen rain to scholar you on frame rates and be the black sheep again? Well, I did. <laughs> but if you think about it, that's pretty romantic, isn't it? Come on, guys. Uh... To talk down to you guys, I had to come up here Otherwise, there wouldn't be a chance for me to talk down to you guys because you know what you're doing. But obviously, the 24p thing is a little more complex than we think. Let me get to this. There's 24p, what classical film cameras do. And then there is 23.98p, which is what your camera is probably doing when you're in the US. NTSC was meant to be the norm for moving images in a television set. So there were fields uh, interlaced. You know, uh, that's, it's going too far to explain all that, but as there was color added to it, your 60 Hertz went to be 59.94 Hertz. Uh, 23.98 frames per second doesn't conform with any of the other numbers. So if you just throw in a 29.97 frames per second film into a 23.98 frames per second timeline, the computer will always try to recalculate images. The reason I brought this up here, wait, the reason I brought this up is your computer is calculating new images for every frame you filmed because you're editing in the wrong frame rate. Depending on the time interpolation you choose, it's gonna either drop or duplicate frames, or it's gonna really mess with your images. I created various clips where a bar is moving one pixel per frame in various frame rates, and this is the stuttery and blurry result 
of a professional editing system trying to conform it to, in this case, 30p. But you could do this in any other frame rate. I mean, you get the point. If you're producing for YouTube only, you should be fine. There's just one time your computer messes with your images. It gets even worse if you're producing, like I do, for projectors. Most projectors do 120 hertz, so 120 frames. They have a refresh rate of 120 images per second, which means if you're doing 50p, it won't fit. If you're doing 23.9 whatever, it won't fit. If you're doing 59 point whatever, it won't fit. Whatever you're doing and whatever you're sending to this projector will be manhandled by the projector. So do you trust the projector? Is that projector good enough to redo your images? Or do you want to make it fit? Do you want it to handle your images again after you've put so much work into it? Or might it just be better to start off with 30p from the beginning? Because 30 times 4 is 120. That should work out fine. 25? Uh, not really. 23.9? No. 59. Point, no. And 50p doesn't either. So if you're not sure if the projector is dealing with the material properly, uh, then uh, you shouldn't. No, no. Even for YouTube, it's a little stupid to send them stuff that they will deal with again. Yeah, the, these guys are really pissed with me because I called them here and I didn't have enough salt for them to share. So if you have 24 cows and you have 25 portions of salt to share, there's one left and they will all get very mad at you if you can't share it properly. If you don't follow that advice, you will be put into freezing cold water somewhere in the mountains. If you like baby horses and big ones, share, like, subscribe and I'll be seeing you next time. Yo.